Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're doing awesome. Hope you had a wicked Thanksgiving with your families. Yeah, it's been a crazy year, but there's still lots to be thankful for. Patty and I uh, went for a little rip here. We're going coal fishing today. We're on a rainy, cloudy Sunday. And we're gonna see if we can find a couple of these things to climb on. Here we go. fishing a few little spots seeing what we find a lot of people are like well what's coho water like what are you looking for when you're out here cohos will live in sort of softer moving water on inside seams um if guys are fishing gear and they're twitching jigs or throwing spoons or stuff they're looking for what we call frog water which is water that's almost not even moving when you're fly fishing you need to find a little bit of moving water um you got to get your fly and you got to get your your line to get moving you got to swing you got to cover a little bit of water you're fishing a spoon or or a jig you got you have the ability you know to fish way more dead water when you're fly fishing with uh you know if you are fly fishing on really still moving water you're obviously going to lighten your tip up you're going to get these fish on a strip a uh, little spot we're fishing here we're kind of getting them on the swing casting out into some faster moving water swinging in and not doing anything fancy at all it's um we just kind of got lucky today with a with a couple fish here on the on the inside so we're just kicking around here having a good time that's what fishing's all about just having a nice time a lot of time when you're cold fishing is that you need to put action on the fly if we are steelhead fishing or bull chow fishing th that's not really the case we're not trying to put a whole bunch of action on the fly it doesn't really do anything cold fishing different story you gotta put a little bit of movement on the fly and the way that you do that big cast throwing a mend into it then as that fly comes down into some softer water you're gonna start putting some strips on it so little short strip like a foot long or foot and a half strip and make it sharp that fly just to pop through the water a little bit more and usually what happens is as you cast out you start swinging that fly downstream that that line's gonna slow down as it comes to the inside as the water slows down and you'll see it you'll see everything just kind of slowing down and that's boom 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 that's when you're going to start putting some 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 strips into it and try to get that fly to fly to pop a little bit beauties that's a nice fish buddy that was out that's a slabber eh <laughs> That's where the power comes from, right there. They're all one hitting it too, right? Just like, whoop, mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple old ones. Real old ones. Patty is guiding in the morning so he has to get back and fix up for tomorrow if you guys want to come fishing with us hit us up a couple nice guys we might even find you a fish or two crazier things have happened yeah i hope you got something out of it if you feel like subscribing you can if you're like this guy just talks too much and i'm not gonna subscribe that's totally fine too that's it that's all